Hi, my name's Liz Robertson. I'm the pastoral care worker at Greenford Baptist Church. Usually at this time of year, I would start my preparation for retreat day. A group of us go away each year and spend a whole day with God, listening to him, reading scripture, spending time with one another. Obviously, that's not going to happen this year. So I thought maybe as for a lot of us, we have got more time than usual because of the lockdown and not being at work, etc, etc, that I could use some of the uh, suggestions that we use on retreat days. Um, one of them uh, is to look at scripture and to meditate on a portion over a period of time. So, for example, um, Galatians 6, where Paul talks about the armour of God, we could look at that slowly and deliberately and perhaps even imagine putting each piece of armour on and asking God to talk about what each represents, particularly in the context of where we are now. So, for example, the helmet of salvation, what it means to be living in the salvation of God at this time, the shield of faith. Another way to look at scripture would be to choose a subject that's maybe close to your own heart and then to Google that and find scriptures referring to it. So, for example, if you really enjoy gardening, you could Google scriptures that talk about gardens or flowers, trees, plants. And God can speak to us when it's something that's close to our own heart. He can communicate with us and encourage and build us up. Something that's very prevalent at the moment is fear and worry. And perhaps we could look at scriptures that address being frightened, being fearful. And God can reassure us again that he is caring for us. So, for example, Isaiah uh, 41 verse 10. I'll read that to you. It says, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Psalm 56 verse 3, another one. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. These scriptures are there to encourage us. And if we take time to meditate on them, the truth can permeate and dispel the fear. In the New Testament, in Matthew, Jesus speaking, as I read this one, I felt that God said, this is for somebody who's actually watching this now. It says, so don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries, today's trouble is enough for today. And I sense God saying that that do not worry about tomorrow was for someone watching this. Maybe there is something you're anticipating in the near future, perhaps literally tomorrow. And God would say he has heard your prayer. He is aware of it. He knows he has not forgotten you. And do not worry because he is with you in this. He is in control. Philippians is another great verse. Philippians uh, 4 verse 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Practising gratitude is a recognised way of lifting your sense of well-being. Psychologists have uh, recorded that it actually does, when you're thankful for things, it actually does have an effect, a positive effect on your well-being. 
And I have found myself, even when I'm in a very low place, just to find one thing to be thankful for. And perhaps that could be uh, a practice to uh, develop in these days, to set yourself a target of perhaps finding three, at least three things to be grateful for each day. And what I have found is the more you think about it, the more the list grows of things that you realise that you are grateful for. And it lifts your spirits. Sometimes this time feels as almost we're holding our breath, waiting for it to pass, waiting for something to change. Everything's on pause, on hold. Well, God hasn't paused. God is as active as ever. And it's now that we really can put our faith into action in these days and not hold our breath. But to breathe deeply and to breathe God in, be filled again with his Holy Spirit, take deep breaths of God so that we can be strengthened and encouraged and built up in these days. I've heard this time described as a time of incubation and that means things are happening, that God is at work, that there is activity even though we may not sense it or see it, God is at work. Breathe him in deliberately each day. Ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. We fill ourselves with so many things. But his Holy Spirit is the thing to pursue at this time, to be filled with him again. Let me pray. Lord God, I ask at this time of unprecedented, unknown, that you are the one that we know. Remind us again of scripture that will encourage and build us up. Strengthen us in these days and help us to grow, continually grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.